Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So San Jose gets a bad rep uh, for being dangerous, dirty, crazy, um, a whole bunch of things. And uh, so we thought we'd show you a cool little area here in San Jose. A lot of you know about Escazú and Santa Ana, but not everybody knows about the Escalante neighborhood or Barrio Escalante, which is actually um, east of San Jose. So San Jose is like right downtown here. So if you walk Central Ave, and it would be maybe another 10 minute walk and you'd be in uh, Barrio Escalante. So yeah, just gonna do a little walkthrough of this neighborhood, show you what this up and coming trendy neighborhood is like where there's a lot of good restaurants. Um, we're staying in this very tall building right here. We did stay in this neighborhood. Um, the only thing is the trains do run through this area and they start at 4.30 in the morning during the weekdays. So we didn't know that when we booked. Um, probably wouldn't stay in this area again. We would definitely come back to this area, but as far as staying, I think we'd stay somewhere else and then just like Uber over, drive over. So yeah, let's go for a little walk here around Escalante neighborhood. So across the street here is a little uh, gastro pub. So there's a lot of those in this area. I think this one was fairly new. They didn't have a lot of reviews online, um, but yeah, it looks really cool. The other night, um, again, this is a hot spot for people to come hang out at night. Um, but yeah, there was a lineup around the corner at this place on Saturday night when we first arrived. So. Yeah, this is Calais 33. This is the main road where all the restaurants are. So we're gonna take you up this way all the way. And then we're gonna go around some of the other side streets and uh, see what else we can find. This is a bakery here. We came for breakfast. It was like Mediterranean style food. It looked really good. And uh, yeah, we had a croissant breakfast sandwich and some coffee it was really good. Here's a dim sum and beer place. Never went to this place yet, um, but they have bubble tea it looks like and dim sum. So that'd be interesting to try out. So that's a cool thing in this neighborhood. There's a lot of different ethnic types of food from Italian to Asian to Mediterranean. And of course, like American and then Costa Rican. So this place here is another Mediterranean restaurant. Hola. There's a salon on the corner here by the train tracks. This building on the right here is the old train station that's turned into a pub now called Olio. It looks really cool inside. And uh, the outside's really neat too because it's right by the tracks, being the old train station. It's right where the tracks actually separate, as you can see. So yeah, look at the outside. So yeah, a lot of cool hangout spots here for for people just to chill with friends and family and Dolian, what are we So yeah, this is another um, I guess kind of like a little pub uh, beer garden type of place. This is a uh, seafood restaurant here on the right. This is at Avenida 5 in uh, Calais 33. Again, all these avenues that run the uh, other direction, obviously the streets, they all have restaurants and stuff down them as well. So there's so much choice down here. Here's another bakery called Sparkles. And then there's uh, Calais 33 gastro pub as well. Looks really uh, Instagram worthy. So uh, this place here called Fakra, we went to on my birthday. 
and uh, yeah, it was really good. Uh, owner's from Canada. Well, he's from Lebanon originally, but uh, from Canada, and he's lived in Costa Rica for 30 years now. Food was awesome, and the setting was really cool. And then across the street here is the Costa Rica Beer Factory, and we st stayed there for a bit on my birthday, and then yesterday we went for a bit as well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, if you want to see both of these restaurants, uh, I'll put the link above for the video on my birthday so you can see what they were both like. But yeah, it was a really cool atmosphere here, as you'll see in that video. Um, yeah, just the way they have it all laid out, and they actually have the um, brewery right in the back, so it was really cool. <laughs> he served us yesterday. All right, so there is a fresh market here as well. So if you need to get any groceries, it's just down. Uh, what is it, Avenida? I think it's nine. I'll look here. can't see a sign right now all right so yeah it is uh, Avenue 9 that's where the fresh market is if you need any groceries while you're in the area just gonna continue down uh, I think maybe two more blocks on Cali 33 and show you what else there is we haven't been down this far yet so there's a lot of um, construction going on so like new restaurants coming in so there'll be all new stuff after this video comes out So another spa here, barber. Uh, looks like, uh, I don't know, it's called walking bowls. So uh, not sure what that is. So that place is called The Moon. Uh, street food here called The Kitchen. We're across the street here. And then there's uh, Mamba, it looks like, which is a pizza place. So there's a Chicharronera. Uh, so it will be a Chicharron place. Sorry, probably Costa Rican fair there. And then Del Rio here on the corner. This looks like a cool little spot too. I'll have to look up what their menu is like. Maybe we'll come here tonight. I don't know. Let's see. Look at another Italian place. So yeah, it looks like about it on Cali 33 for restaurants. We're gonna head over. Uh, we're gonna go down Avenue 9 and see what's down there. Oh yeah, there is a Thai food here too called Samoy Authentic Thai Food. Looked at this menu the other day too, and it had a really cool atmosphere. So you can see it a bit. So yeah, it looks like a really nice place to have some good Thai food. It looked really good. Um, I think from the picture, the owner looked like she was from Thailand. So I'm guessing Samoy. <laughs> Yeah, that's an ice cream spot on the corner there. So yeah, we're back at Avenue 9. We're gonna go to the, I guess, west now, down here. See what we can find. This place looked really cool too. It's called El Columpio. Columpio. Um, yeah, uh, their pictures online looked really cool. 
kind of a trendy spot as well. Just cleaning out the sewage here. So across the street here is Saul, I think it's Saul, yeah, Saul Bistro. They've got a uh, zebra. No way for traffic. Yeah, this looks like a cool little spot. They got the zebra, they got the outside uh, court here on the corner, an old car. So, yeah, it'd be kind of cool to hang out there when it's not raining. <laughs> Just down the street there is uh, Cafe Topia, so it's a coffee shop. No crosswalks here, it's kind of weird. All right, we're gonna head down Calais 31. So there's a skeleton in the window here. <laughs> Another restaurant. Some really cool uh, old houses and stuff down here too. This used to be where a bunch of, um, I guess coffee growers had their estates in this area back in the day. That's why the train runs through here for shipping the coffee out. And uh, yeah, there's a really cool park up here too. I'll show you that. So here's a university. That's one thing you find in San Jose. There's a lot of universities just like spread out through the city. They really, uh, they really want to educate the citizens of Costa Rica. Again, they don't have an army, so they put their money into healthcare and education. So you'll find schools everywhere around Costa Rica. So yeah, like I said, most of the restaurants and stuff are just off of the 33rd Street or Calais 33. Here's a, another little coffee shop here, a little trendy spot. Looks like a bit of a bakery as well. So now we're at Avenue 5. Just gonna go uh, west some more here on Avenue 5, take you over to the park that's here. You hear the train honking. We'll walk down along the tracks and there's some more restaurants there as well. So 
So yeah, this is a little park here. They got a little fountain. It's not on right now. I think this is called Francis Park. Parque Francis. Yeah, the fountain's not on. another bistro here across from the park on the east side of it that's the uh, the building right there the tall one it's just it's crazy it's like the tallest one in this area doing some exercises There's just, there's so much to uh, explore in this neighborhood that I won't even be able to get it all in the video. This video would be like two hours long. <laughs> um, yeah, just cause there's so many side streets and stuff. But yeah, if you look up um, Barrio Escalante on Google Maps, just look up restaurants so you can find all that stuff, all the different restaurants there. Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of hotels down here too. And then yeah, Airbnbs. But again, that train just makes it um, not, the, not the nicest. For sleeping in it was 4 30 so far monday tuesday wednesday the weekend was fine so if you want to come on the weekend you could stay in this area train doesn't run i don't believe we never heard it on the weekend so yeah that's when i would recommend doing that so yeah i'm gonna walk down the street here by the by the tracks a lot of really cool graffiti down here and again more restaurants cafes there's another cafe with the white and the purple And then it looks like a, I don't know what that is, a little supermarket. Yeah, look at all this kind of graffiti. So yeah, it's cool. There's this little pub here, a gelato place, and then there's another little um, restaurant as well, right on the tracks. This looks like almost like a little street food. Yeah, see there's Incredible Bowl. Uh, another couple little restaurants. So it's like a little food court by the tracks. That's kind of cool. Called a Lolita. And there's a dentist on the corner. A lot of tuners in the city. So the train station's just ahead there. There's a train there right now. I don't know if it's uh, running. So another uh, restaurant up here called Santa Perla. Looks like a pretty uh, popular spot. There's a lot of people upstairs. Cool, they got the upper upper area to eat. I'm trying to see if this train is going to go by. I don't think it's going to. So yeah, this area is super close to like the museums and stuff too that are on the east side of 
downtown San Jose. So you could actually, like, again, if you wanted to stay and put up at the train, you could stay here and um, just walk to all the museums or just Uber. There's so many little restaurants everywhere, it's crazy. All right, so we're back on Avenida One. This is the avenue the Urban Escalante building's on. So this Limoncello place here, I think we're gonna actually come here for dinner. It's an Italian restaurant. Has a really big menu, cool atmosphere. love these like old colonial style houses where they're built right up to the sidewalk just like how they are in Granada and places in Spain all right so that's just a kind of a quick walkthrough I guess it wasn't super quick but I didn't go you can go further east there's some uh, streets that run that way they have restaurants avenues things like that but again i don't want it to be a two hour long video so yeah i didn't want to bore you guys with a big walk like that um but yeah just to show you that there is hidden gems in san jose it's not the scary place everybody makes it out to be i mean we've been here six days it'll be six days tomorrow i had one drug dealer come up to me in chinatown he fist pump pumped me and Asked if I wanted cocaine. <laughs> I think that's what he's asking anyway, but yeah, I mean, that was it. Nothing really too crazy. So yeah, I'm um, just gonna leave the video off here. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys come and explore San Jose a bit more. When you come into Costa Rica, plan a couple days here, go to the museums, come to this area, come to these awesome restaurants and check it out. It's really cool. So yeah, if you guys like the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come on new videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao.